Hi, I'm Mike Auerbach, Editor-in-Chief of Pharmaceutical Processing Magazine here at Interfex 2011. I'm in the Facility of the Year Award booth, and I'm talking with uh, Jeff Shepard from Merck, and we're going to ask him a few questions about his facility in Summit, New Jersey, the Global Clinical Supplies Manufacturing, Packaging, and Warehouse. Uh, Jeff, could you tell me a little bit more about the facility and uh, what you're manufacturing there and the reasons behind the facility? Sure. The, uh, the facility is our clinical supply facility. Basically, we were relocating our clinical supply uh, production from the Kenilworth facility over into Summit. Uh, so we decided to put together this facility that you can see in the background here. And the facility actually consisted of a combination of an office building uh, for the support staff of about 300 people. It also had the modular production facility and then it had a stick built portion of the uh, facility which was basically refurbishing um, an existing part of the facility um, where we put in our warehousing, packaging and dispensing areas into it. Now, we're at Interfex here with you know, many of the industry's best vendors and suppliers. How important to the overall success of the facility were equipment vendors and suppliers? Well, it was very important with the, uh, the equipment vendors. I mean, some of the unique things about this facility when it came to the equipment vendors is we use similar equipment in our, um, our production scale facilities and our manufacturing facilities. So in order to uh, do the scale up, it was really important to be able to use the same equipment vendors and to be able to have it on a smaller scale so it made, uh, made it easy to scale up and do that rapidly because it's very important in clinical supplies, of course, to once you get things um, out onto the market, to get it scaled up as quickly as possible. If you could pick uh, maybe one feature of the facility that might have caught the judge's eye, uh, what would that be? Well, I think on this facility, what was really important and, and what what we won was uh, the integration um, between the uh, the facilities. And, and there was a couple things, I think, that were really important on the integration here, um, both from the team. So we were dealing with, um, with a vast team. We had within our own um, company, we had five different user groups that we were trying to coordinate all their efforts with. We also had then within the, the actual uh, team for the design, part of the design was done in Sweden. Part of the design uh, for the modular was done in Sweden, and the design for the stick belt was done in the USA. And, um, and so we had a team that was very cross-functional and cross-cultural. And so I think the fact that we had a facility that when you walked from one part to the other part, it all looked consistent. The fact that we were able to communicate between all these teams and be able to um, have really a minimum of difficulties in executing the project, I think that that's what caught their eyes. If you could pick one part of the facility or maybe the construction project that you're most proud of, what would that be? Well, I would say I'd say this facility certainly ranks up there. I mean, I've done um, project management for a variety of projects, so from API and um, and also the clinical supplies. And I think what what's been very nice about all the projects is that we've really been on the cutting edge. I mean, I think this project really incorporated um, a modular technology. It, uh, it, uh, the equipment fit into this building uh, was really done in a good fashion. And if you go back behind in the mechanical spaces of the equipment, you find things have very easy access because we used um, within the modular facility, it was fully 3D'd out. And uh, so we had a lot of design reviews remotely with our teams and we were able to fit everything in exactly the way we wanted to have fit in. Um, so with that technology that we incorporated, the automation systems that we use within this, and the fact that we um, you know, had such a vast team that we coordinated well with, I think that that was what made this uh, a very nice project that certainly I'm proud of. And uh, finally, regarding the, the FOIA uh, award program, what has been your experience thus far? Can you tell me anything about that? Well, I, I mean, I've, I've certainly gone around and seen the other projects that, that, that other people have done, and I think everybody has projects that they can ver be very proud of. You know, I think it's, a, it's certainly a nice um, award because I certainly think it, um, it inspires people to, you know, uh, I think early on even in this project as we were doing what we were doing, we kind of had it in the back of our minds and we had some discussions about whether we thought this would might be something later on because we thought we were, you know, certainly building a world-class facility with innovative technology that it might be something. So I think the FOIA Award certainly inspires people to, to try and do that and to try and see where they can uh, excel from what the last uh, people have done. Well, thanks for your time today, and uh, best of luck with the overall award. Great. Thank you very much.